get this on. All righty. We're back at chest again because why not? I'm actually kind of enjoying playing chess and I want to get better so why not uh play with y'all basically is what my thought is because why play by myself when I can stream so yeah that's the general plan we're just going to be playing some chess again today till I can think of something else I want to do that I can also run uh, because unfortunately I am having some trouble Wi-Fi wise I am still trying to get better Wi-Fi a hundred percent but at the moment we have to make do with what I have which is still poor Wi-Fi here's what we're going to do right off the bat just put his king in check because I want to see what he's going to do I want to see if he's going to move a pawn or something else I want to see what this guy's thinking he's going to go for a trade Hmm. All right. Let's see. What does that trade get me? Gets me that, and he'd either have to move his king. That is not what I wanted to do. Game, no. Game, why you gotta do me like that now? Okay, well I'm down a pawn now because of that. God, that's such a lame way to lose a piece. To I didn't even want to do that. Oh, that hurts my soul. That, that generally hurts my soul watching that happen. Ow. Hey, don't, don't you not respond. You gotta respond here, you know what I mean? You gotta keep things going. It's such a crummy way to lose a uh, bishop. Because I was just gonna go for the trade. And uh, actually get this pawn to go here so that if he took that, either way I can move that pawn up this way. Because I want to take this area with more pawns. But unfortunately the game just straight up said, yeah chief, we don't like that. <laughs> uh, it's a crummy way. But happens, made a misclick, gotta live with it now. Uh, but now he has to move this piece, otherwise it's in danger. Then I'm actually going to put a danger on both these pieces. Hopefully he won't move his queen though. Because while it's likely he will if he doesn't move this piece. Because if he doesn't, of course I'm going to take that. But if he does, I'm going to lose that piece. That's a rip to that piece. Okay, yep, he's moving that piece there. He's going to be defensive. Horse can't really move right now. So what we're going to do is... Put his king in a dangerous spot again. Can he take me anywhere real quick? Just making sure. No. All right, so now he'll have to defend his king somehow. Which is great. I want to put him in a high stakes where he has to defend kind of situation. I don't want to move too far. I'm just going to move my queen over one. I want to kind of play this one slow. Get a feel for it. Actually. That horse is going to be lost either way. But what I can do is... Get this out. No, let me see. Can I save this horse? No, I cannot. Actually, actually, No, I don't want to make that play. We're going to move up here. We want to take this piece. He's going to take the horse, but we'll take that piece in exchange. Oh, fuck. I didn't even see that. Bullshit. Son of a bitch. Get my horse out of the way. Fuck. 
I should have been paying attention. I thought the queen was still covered. Oh, that's such a bummer to lose that. Put his king in check. He now has to move his king, and then I'm 100% taking that piece because I'm playing the FU method now because I'm not happy. What a crummy way to lose a piece. It's fine, he still can't do much, and I'll take a rook, which is a really good piece to take. Let's see what he's going to do with this now. That's fine. He'll take that. Because I want to get both his rooks out. Because they're going to be a problem. All right, so let's try and look at the moves he can make while he does this. I'm actually trying to get better at this. Believe me, so I'm trying my hardest here. I'm not very good at it, but I am trying my hardest. Move my rook there. So I can take my rook, but it'll cost him his king. Not king, I mean his queen. Which, obviously, is a good play for me. Because, no queen. Let's go. Or he can try and take a pawn. And just kind of chill in that corner. Yeah, he's just going to chill in that corner. Not many moves he can make from here. And we'll move this piece up. Uh, let's see. Is he trading his queen? I'll, t I, I'll take it. I'll take the queen. Want to know what his game plan is, but I'll take the queen. Take his rook. Okay, so I got his queen and both his rooks. I really want to get rid of those rooks because those rooks are deadly. I still have both of mine, so as long as I don't play any dumb moves and I keep my bishop here and both my rooks alive, I can try to force him into a game over, basically. Uh, that pawn is useless. Move up here. I want to try and backline him, basically, is what I'm about to do. Okay, move up, move up, move that other piece up, my homeboy. He can move this here to block me, but that still won't let him take. So, he's going to lose that area no matter what now, which is great on my part. Let's see what's he going to do. Okay, okay, he's he's pulling some big brain moves. I don't like that move, though, so we're going to move here and force him to have to move his horse. Or he's going to lose it. I'll lose my bishop in the process, but it'll be a good trade. Bishop for a horse, that's a good trade. I know that much. I'll still have both my rooks and a horse. All right. Uh, let's see what he can do. Basically jump right here. That's it. 
This guy can't do much. So I'm going to do that. I will trade my... I will trade that for that. Yeah. All right. Move this here. He can't do nothing about that. Since he no longer has any pieces that can go straight, I have that advantage. I have that advantage that if I just watch this horse and make sure these guys aren't lined up, we will win this. I just have to do this smartly, or I could beat him by time. By a lot of time, really. I hate that it draws on the 10 minutes, though. Like, if he runs out, it's just a draw. That really does suck. Don't know what moving your king there really accomplishes, but more power to you. Here's what I can do, though. Put my horse here. He can't jump it, but now his king's in danger again. As long as I keep it like that, he will stay in danger. Oh, no you don't, you sneaky little... So he's going to try being aggressive with his king. That's not really going to help him. I should have went all the way back down to... God damn it. I just saw that. It's okay. I can still do this with this, though. I'll let him take that. He's going to go down here. I know it. No. You messed up. I messed up and he messed up. Let's see, what can he do? Okay, can now he can't do anything. Now he can't do anything. He goes, do, 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 do. Yeah, no, he can't be a threat. Hey Macarena, hey Macarena. Uh, but yeah, okay, so he's gonna move that piece up there, one. Let's see where he's going. He's trying to go get his queen back. And I'm gonna roadblock him. No. Mmm. Fucking bitch. I hate that shit so fucking. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck, man. That is such a dumb way to lose. I fucking saw that too. I wonder how some. So you can only jump with your king if you're in check. Great. Now that I know that, lovely. I wish I knew that a lot sooner, though. Oh, that's annoying. Do 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 do. Yeah, uh, ears are down. I'm just kind of chilling now. This guy gonna make a move? Guess not. I'm gonna sit back for a second, and we're just gonna wait for him to make a move. He's already uh burned through a minute of thinking.
Come on, my man. Make a move. Um, I might go grab a... I'm going to put a little BRB for anyone that comes back. In the meantime, I'm going to go grab a drink while I wait for this dude to make a move. Alright, I am back. Has he? He has not made the move. Alright, well, um, well, that was louder than I thought. We uh, won, though. Uh, next match, I guess. Oh, shoot. I'm going to be defensive. Right off the bat. Let's see if I can't get him to trade or give up that piece by mistake. Perfect. I will trade a horse for that any day. You can have that bishop. Go and take my queen with your queen. That's so why I'm not really talking. I am eating, so. Where is that? His king's in check, so unfortunately, it's also not going to let him uh, make any move till he fixes that king problem. That's a new one. I guess he doesn't like his horses. Maybe he doesn't know how good they are. Maybe he just doesn't like them. It's not up for me to judge. Hopefully this guy's um uh, knows somewhat what he's doing. I'm starting to get bad at this. I think what the problem was I've been too aggressive. I need to play more defensive now. Honestly, that's fine. Hmm. So I know he doesn't like his horses. So I will do that because there's a high chance he'll try trading. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, he does move the horse. At least some vulnerable there.
He's going right for my queen. Interesting. But no. Hmm. What I should have done is move for one over. Does he have anything that can take there? No, he just... And there goes his horse, I guess. Uh, don't see how that helped him. And that also left his rook open to be taken. Uh, meanwhile, my rook still covers my king, luckily. Besides from right there. That might become a problem if his queen moves there. But what I can do is move my pawns up one. Let's see what he does. Generally curious how this guy's head's working. Because he's trading out a lot of pieces to keep his rooks, bishops, and king. But at the same time, he's not really taking anything but my pawns. I made an opening here, which my rook still protects. So even if his queen or something was to go there, bam, boom, shabalaba, boom, boom. You know what I mean? Unless it does a thing where my queen can't jump there again. Uh... He takes a pawn there if he does that. Okay. I'll trade the pawn for that. Now I got rid of one of his rooks. Now I could go up there. But what, that would sacrifice my queen for that. Okay, what's he doing? He's going straight for my... Oh, I see what he's trying to do now. Um, we'll go here. I think we got this. Got the ears down. We're in think mode. We're in thinking mode here. Rook goes up one. Rook goes up again. Because my queen still texts this. He can't move his queen there. That can't jump any of my pieces. Oof. That's not what I wanted. It. it still works, though. No, yeah. Move your, move your guy down there. I dare you. I dare you to move him down there. What the fuck? Here's what I can do. I can force his... Mm, I can't actually force him into a stale and force him to go back up. But at the same time, that is a risky play for my other pieces. Honestly, I think I can pull it off. I'm gonna try it. I will try. It's risky. But I think I can pull it off on this guy. So we're going to try it. We have time. So depending on what move he makes next. If it's a smart one. We can think for some. Okay. My king takes that. We're good. So yeah I was right. I am learning. So when it's a check. I can make a move like that. Now my king's currently not in check, so I'm going to take advantage of that to start setting up my pin on him. And so what I'm going to do is force him up, and then my queen here, try and blockade him. First things first, I got to get rid of that rook, because that rook is going to be a pain in the ass for my plan. So... Gotta get rid of that rook. He might move him there, though. 
He did not. That's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. He is falling right into what I want him to do. Because he can't move his king forward. And each piece my horse jumps, that's a less piece he can go up. He won. I won. I'm not he <laughs> not he won. I won. I got him to forfeit. Whew. That's good. I missed a win. Oh. I want to try the same strategy. We're going to be a bit defensive at the start. I want to keep my line together. We're going to start with our knight. Because I like the knight. And let's get these ears back up. I ain't in think mode right now. You got to think about this. Okay, so what's he doing? Okay, so he's going to try and force me to trade. Because he can't do much right here. So instead, what I will do is this. I'll keep a full line of uh, my little dudes. And I'm going to try to, unless I feel like I need to, I'm going to try to keep them behind lines, the rest of my actual good pieces, and use my knights. To kind of limit some of his. And uh, see what I can get out of it. What's he going to do? I don't really know. But he can't take this piece anymore. What is he going to do? Oh wait, I see what he's going to do. Well, no, I'll take it, because he'll take a pawn. Take this, and then my king will just take that. It's queen, nothing else can get there. Oh, he is setting up for it, though. So if he's going to try that, now he has to also take two pieces, which puts his queen at risk. Yep. Trade. Let's see what he does with his queen. Is he going to try it with his queen? Come on. Come on. Clever. Move him back here. Um, move this guy up one piece. Just one piece. I don't want to let him get anything good right now. Kind of keep him in the slippery slopes of... Eh, eh, meh. And what I want to really do is get my, uh, bishop to go here. My rook in front of him. And my queen over here. And put him in a cross pattern where he can't get out. But that's going to take a bit of maneuvering first. So first things first, I got to move my piece up there to... Here. Because currently that doesn't serve much use. Besides for him to take. Perfect. That will allow me to... Move No, damn it. I didn't mean to move him a second time, but we're just gonna go with it. Mm, let's get in thinking mode. Ears down. So how do you switch the king for that? Did he do that? Still confused how you do that. Do you like pull this over one, then have your king jump over it? I 
This is very interesting. Hmm. I think I might need to play with some bots some more to kind of get a better hang of this stuff. One thing I do know is he's really reliant on that queen. So I'm generally curious to see if I can't get him into a forced trade to trade it. Alright. Let's see if I can't trick him into trading it. You want to trade your queen? What we doing? We trading the queen or we moving the queen? We trading or moving? Moving, good. Ah, but I can't move mine anywhere now. Gotcha. We'll move there. We're going to think ahead. So if he takes that, that's going to leave me open. Okay. Now we take here. Okay, but that still doesn't really get you much currently. But what that gets me is this. Oh, oh silly me, I'm in check. Oh, so you can't jump it like that. So how do you move that king like that? I'm still very confused on how that rule works of the switch him out. Yeah, trade that piece. He'll probably take... He's going to take that instead? Okay. Let's redo. Come on. Put me back in check. Because now the only way he can put me in check is if he moves real close. Which I don't think he's going to want to do. Because I have no problem sacrifice. As much as I want this rook, I need this rook. I can sacrifice him for this move if I really need. But I'm hoping I do not have to do that because my next plan does kind of require me to have my rook. Also, I'm sure I could look this up, but could someone maybe uh, comment how I actually... Do that flip with the rook and the king. I generally cannot figure out how to do it on this. And I know I could probably watch the tutorial. But I'd rather learn either by playing or through a comment. Because I just don't want to have to go throughout the entire tutorial. I'm going to retreat back. I'll probably take horse. Which is honestly fine. It's a bummer, but it's fine. He's instead moving his horse up. Let's force him to move his queen again. Or lose it. It's a take it or lose it kind of thing. Not really giving him wiggle room. Because I won't want him to have any. That's my move where he can't take that. And I will take one of his rooks. I will gladly take one of his rooks for an exchange of my knight. Because I want those rooks out of this game. Those rooks will completely screw me over. With my plan. On the plus side though, I can start moving my... Okay, perfect. Take that. He takes that with his rook. 
I will move my queen. Nope, because rook can take there. Move my queen. Here, out of the way of all his pieces. Ah, clever. Very clever. <laughs> Okay, wait, he can't take that. He can move his queen or he can trade the queens. Let's go. It's literally a take or go. Perfect. Perfect for what I want it. It's beautiful, actually. God, why didn't I think about that sooner? Okay, what's he going to do? He's probably going to go for my queen if he can. No, he's not. What's he going for? He's either going to go south. He's going to go that way. Neither of which really benefits him. So instead, what I will do is move up here. See if I can't get him to give up that. Because if I can get him to give that up. Ow. Hit my foot. That will give me what I need. Puts my king in check. Move my knight in the way. Oh, we're on big brain mode. I told you, putting those ears down, it's big brain move. That was a bad move on his part. I'm pretty sure that was an accident, but I'm gladly going to take that. Yep. I knew it. That was a mistake. Pop. Bro is not ready for that. I made a couple mistakes myself. I made a couple blunders, but those blunders I managed to come back from. Boom, did it pay off. Let's go, boys. Alright, we're going back in thinking mode. We're thinking hard here. We want to win this. We want to... We want to move up. Because this... I'm really liking this defensive strategy. It's working really good for me. Going really well in my favor so far. So I'm going to stick with it. You know, if it's one of those things that works, stick with it. Kind of deal. Bloop. Hey now, rock star, get your game on. And I have, okay, so here's actually my plan real fast. Let me focus up real quick. So my plan is, is keep playing like this. Shit. Okay, that ruined the strategy. We got to go back. Yeah, we got to go back here. Damn. So the strategy was go this way, then cut. But I can't do that now. So that is unfortunate. He can take my horse. That would be a bad trade. We'll go here. Mm, but I'll put his queen at risk, but he can take that real easy. But not if I get it now. That's not a good play. Okay, I can live with that. Hmm. 
This is a lot harder than I thought it'd be. Let's see, what does he get with that? Currently nothing. Now like this, I can force him to trade or just lose it kind of deal. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Trade it or lose it deal. Wait, fuck. I forgot to move out a piece up first. No. Okay, and that pins all that down. That was such a bad play because I forgot to move the pawn up to first so the rook would be able to take it. Ouch. Let's force him to go farther up or lose it. Damn, that was a bad play. Yeah, there goes my queen. I got rid of the piece though, finally. Gets rid of my problem. And he still has a pawn there. I completely forgot about the pawn. <laughs> it appears I've made multiple very big blunders. That may actually end up costing me this one. By simple carelessness. God, that sucks. But it happens. It happens. Let's at least get a trade off on this. At least if I can get a trade, I'll take the trade. No, he's going to move his piece, actually. Okay. We'll move. Might not take that horse because of that piece. Try to force him to move his horse. <coughs> now my no wait 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 no yeah that screwed over my rook. However, though. Son of a bit. Just take the rook. Let's get this clusterfuck of a match over with. God, I'm messing up on a lot of pieces. Thinking gears are back up because I'm clearly not thinking. I did, however, save my rook at least. Yep, but he'll get a queen or some shit out of that. That screws me over. Not what I wanted to do, but it is what happened. Fuck. Get a queen or something. Or he can save his rook. As rook his thing. Also, he's can take mine. He's going to. He's going to have to sacrifice a piece. Yeah. I lose that. He loses that. He takes it. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. Could try taking his queen. Fine. If 
put his queen at risk at least. So he'll have to get yep, he moves her there. And if he's trying to corner me. I just realized if he takes that piece, it's a game, though. Wait, no. Because if he takes that, then my... Okay. As long as I keep my pawn right there alive, I can do something. It's a whole lot of nothing something, but it is at least something. Just like how if I can get my... Uh... No, because he would take my bishop there. No, that's a bad... Uh, he's going to get that off anyway. I might as well take one piece before he takes mine. Yep, he's going to probably move his rook down. No, he's not. Uh, okay, I didn't mean to release... Oh, that sucks. If I can get him to lose more time without losing, though, that is a win on my side. Ah, oh, fuck, that's why I can't move that, otherwise it's a... Uh... Oh, put him on both sides like that. We'll form a little perimeter. A little safety perimeter. Because it's the best I can do. And that's okay. Gotta start with some type of move, and that's pretty my king in check, which I do not appreciate, good sir. Yes, he's going to try and corner me like that. Uh, he's keeping, this is definitely not a 370. This dude... Either I'm really just messing up or this dude's better than 370. Fuck, he's going to try and take that with his horse. No! Yeah, no, this dude's definitely playing like he's higher than 370. Or, I just don't know the game that good. 20 for a loss? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, what can I actually do? This, I guess. As good as any other move I can make. Wait, he fucked up. Why am I in check? Hang on, wait. What puts me in check? Ah, oh, yeah. So wait, where can I move? Down? And he's just gonna move his queen down. Yeah. Fuck off. Move your horse. Go on. Oh, this is such a bad game. I am making so many mistakes. <sighs> Got three pawns left. You done playing around? Can we end this already? You could have ended this like three moves ago, if I'm being honest. 
that would have really appreciated if you had. Just trying to just run time, which is annoying. Could you just end the game, please? I'd like really, really would appreciate if you just ended the match. You don't get style points for beating me with extra stuff. It still just ends the game. I'll just move over here. Yep, cool. You got another queen. Yay. Game. Uh, this is a nightmare. I still somehow have to last... What would put me in check there? S dude. Oh, brother. I don't know why he's doing this. It, just end the game, my man. Could you? It, you're generally wasting my time. I'm not going to actually just give up. I'll uh, continuously just move around. I will honestly continuously just move around. Got last another. Okay. I can move that piece up and lose it. Or I could keep going down with this. His queen will take it, and that'll be a guaranteed loss. I got an idea. We'll move up. We'll move down. Congratulations, you don't get anything for that. Because I'm going to move up here. Bro has three queens. He's just literally just doing this to do this. He doesn't... You don't get actual bonus points for winning like this. I should note that. He's just he's just doing it to be an asshole, basically. Which... Eh. Doesn't really equal good, just equals asshole. Kind of deal. trying to stay unpinned because I don't want to just sit here and run the timer down but there's genuinely a way I can do this to keep going without getting out which is up here we'll go up here I refuse to just give up I ain't about that life I ain't about no quitters I can keep going up, 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 and away, yeah, up, up, and away. I'm playing the time. I'm going to, if this man wants to be like this, I'm going to make him have to play every second down to the last. Because that's how I am. I'm not opposed to being petty. Not at all. <laughs> And he wants he want he wants to do this kind of stuff, kind of be an asshole instead of just end it. So we're gonna be petty back. We're gonna run the timer. We're gonna make him win via timer. He's not gonna get the satisfaction of a win through an actual win. No, he's gonna have to win through the timer itself, which means he couldn't technically beat me. He just had to eventually end it. Yeah, there you go. He finally won. Yeah, uh, fuck you. You're an asshole playing like that. Just in the, just in the match, guys. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just say it. Obviously, I could just through the match, but he wanted to play like a jerk, so I wanted to waste as much time as possible. But uh, yeah, if you clearly can just win the match, you see you can win the match. Don't be an asshole. Don't make the other person feel like oh I can't do anything. It doesn't make you look good at the game. And like I said, it just makes you look like an asshole. Cause uh. Your one pleasure is basically sh taking advantage of people that aren't as good as you on the game. Uh, it's not very Chad move of you, not very cool, not very gamer of you. Gamers in the match as fast as they can because they respect others' time and their own. 
don't respect people that are like that. Waste as much of their time as possible. Always remember that. If someone's an asshole, be an asshole back, but a pettier one. That's the secret to life. Be an asshole, but only to other assholes. And make sure you're damn good at being an asshole compared to them. <laughs> Let's take this piece. He's probably going to take it with his queen. That's cool with me. Wait, hold on, though. No, no, let me see this. Why can my king not jump this queen exactly? Because I've seen a king jump a queen before. So, genuine curiousness. Why the fuck can't I do that exactly? This time? Why can't I see other people jump my queen? Even in a... Wouldn't be a checkmate. But I can't jump theirs. Is there a certain place only... You can jump a queen or something like that? Like I said, I mostly... And I say I know how the pieces move, but clearly I only know how mostly they move. And I'm, I'm confused by this, because I have, all, at least off-camera, tried this move, and they've somehow been able to jump me. Is there, like, a special way you do it to where they can't jump you? Someone let me know that. I'm, I'm actually curious on... What allows you and what doesn't allow you to jump that? Because, uh... That's... The hell is that? No, I don't want to view my game. Let's, let's just go to the next one. You don't... No, no, let's, let's try it on them. I, I want to try it on them. I want to. I want to see this. I want to play this move myself. Uh, oh, right off the bat, I already made a huge fucking mistake. Uh, yeah, no, I don't even care at this point uh, about this match. Uh, yeah, have fun. I'm going to reside. I'm just going to play against a bot. Uh, fucking a. Let's keep trying this. Yeah, sure, we'll play against you, big guy. Challenge. Do 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 do. Also, I'm starting to get careless, uh, because I'm generally suffering here mentally trying to figure some of this out, and I didn't want to make that move, but I guess the game made that move for me, so we're going to go with it. We're just going to go with the flow. Not much else I can do. Care. Oh, you would. You would move there, wouldn't you? Okay, so it's here that he can't take. Right? Right, it's it's there that the king is vulnerable. So if I move my piece here, I should be able to take. Right? Right? No? Okay. Forget this. We're going to learn. We're going to learn chess. I'm going to relearn chess. How to move pieces. Playing the game. We, you're going to watch this with me. We're learning how to play chess. Restart. Okay. Chess is one of the oldest and most recognized games in the world. It is an exciting game of strategy and planning, which is why it is seen as a symbol of intelligence. However, chess is easy to learn and can be enjoyed by anyone at any level. 
Chess is played on an 8x8 board with 64 squares and 32 pieces, and the game is all about checkmating the king. Once the king is in checkmate, which we'll explain later, then the game is over. So to start, let's meet the king. Okay. Even though the king is the most important piece in chess, it isn't the most powerful. The king can only move one square at a time in any direction. Here are the squares where the white king can currently move. Here's one move. Now the king could move here. And here's another king move. In chess, both players have identical sets of pieces. You have a king, and so does your opponent. Each player will take turns making a move until the game is over. Now that you've learned how the king moves, it's your turn to practice moving the king. What? Can you move? Oh, straight up. Okay, so I had to actually tell me where to move. Okay, wow. Okay. Oh, up, up diagonally. I should have read closer. One square to the right, sure. Okay. The king might be the most important piece in chess, but the queen is by far the most powerful. Like the king, the queen can move in any direction, forward, backward, to the sides, as well as diagonally. Unlike the king, the queen can move as far as she wants in any direction. The one thing the queen can't do is jump over other pieces. Let's look at some queen moves. In this position, the queen could go all the way up the diagonal. She could slide all the way. So I know like these parts. Do, 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 do. The queen wants to move straight up the board and reach the top left hand corner square. But white's king is in the way. Can you find the queen's movement where it can reach? Okay. Wait. Top left hand corner. So would it be here? No. So what? Okay. But it could technically reach here from there. Hmm. I can't believe I'm taking a class online. After the queen, the rook is the second most powerful piece. It can move up, down, into the sides no. as far as it wants but the rook can only move in straight lines. Like the other pieces we've looked at so far, the rook also can't jump over any other piece. Let's take a look at some rook moves. In this position, the Hmm. All right, two moves. Okay. The little right hand corner is blocked, but I its own. Mm hmm. Okay. Wait, no. 
the lower right hand corner is blocked. Okay. By its own pieces. The rook wants to move to the lower left hand corner in two moves. Can you move? Uh, no. Okay. Yes, yeah, so it would be the king. That's on me. Uh, so the bishop is one of the most interesting pieces in chess because it can move as far as it wants, but only on diagonals. The bishop, just like the other pieces that we've met so far, cannot jump over other pieces. This means that the bishop has to stay on the same colored square it starts the game on for the entire game. In chess, you get two bishops. This bishop is called the light squared bishop because it can only travel on the light squares. Meet the other bishop that you have in the game, the dark squared bishop. It moves exactly like the light squared bishop, but only on the dark squared diagonals. Now that you've met both bishops, let's take a look at how they move. For so long, also I just realized audio was still playing for y'all. Uh, but it's wild to me that I had been playing this for so long. Like I was taught as a kid, but it's been so long that I'm actually needing to go retake a course on plays to make. Ay ay ay. Anyways, uh, back to uh, learn how to play chess again. The bishops. Uh, what did they say? Bishop wants to move to the other side of the board in a single move. Can you? Yep, over here. Bishop dreams of visiting the top left-hand corner of the chessboard. Can you find a path for it? Uh, right here. The dark square of the bishop is in the center of the board. Can you move the light square bishop to the square directly to the right of it and both bishops in the center? Yes. The bishop wants to travel to the other side and reach the top of the board in just two moves. Can you find a way? Wait, hang on. I'm actually curious now. God, am I this rusty? Other side. I'm guessing it means that one. Okay, yeah. I don't know why I thought it meant this one. It meant that side. White bishop is ready to climb to the topmost chessboard. Move the bit. Okay. There we go. That's another course complete. Let's do this. The knight is perhaps the most fun piece in chess. It is the only piece in chess that does not move in some sort of straight line. It moves in a strange L shape. The other interesting thing about the knight is it's the only piece in chess that can jump okay. over other pieces, like this. It takes a little practice to understand exactly how the knight moves. It goes two squares in one direction and then one square to the side. Okay, so I'm actually going to stop this because I know I'm bad at chess, but I at least know this much. So that's lessons. Chessable courses. Let's see. Let's see what this brings up real fast. Never forget your lap. I could look at openings. I could, but it's also probably gonna make me pay. Let's be honest. It says free, but is anything ever really free, especially course-wise when they say it is? Probably not. Let's look at insights. Maybe that'll bring up something useful. Okay. Let's look at my insights. Games played apparently says I've won 77 of mine. Average accuracy when you win, when you draw, when you lose. So I have about 80-ish percent accuracy and 87 overall. I don't actually know how good that is. Accurate moves mate. Yes, yeah, so I've started to deteriorate. I was doing good when I was just playing against bots, having fun. But player-wise, I've dropped down to 85, 86. Yeah I, yeah, I made a lot of bad mistakes these last couple games. I had 70... 
out. Huh. Hmm. It's interesting. Games you lost, yeah, just reside it. Games per shape? I don't really know what that is. Is that like how fast of a move I made? How easy it was to see? Hmm. I don't really know what this means. I'll have to look that up. Result by games. Smooth. So when I'm so my best two that I'm best at is apparently smooth and this. Hmm. So I have less accuracy in this and so the so smooth is probably my better to go to is be very patient with it. Games that yeah, I've had a couple. In game I have a lot of in games opening. Yeah, I really start to fall off mid and end game. Huh. I'm actually looking at a lot about my stuff that I really didn't know. So it seems I mostly get most of my wins when I'm in mid-game. So mid-game is when I really want to try and win. Okay. So I'm a bit more balanced go a second than I am at first. Good to know. Oh wait, is this even my profile? Oh my god. <laughs> this entire time I've been in a demo profile. Let's. Where do I find. <laughs> Let's look at a demo profiles thing. Okay, where's my profile? Um. <laughs> Let's see if I can't find myself. Yes. I do not want to challenge myself. I just want to. I'm definitely not that. Uh, I was hoping I can see my insight on my own play. <laughs> not as uh, one of the other things. And yeah, that was odd. I was really hoping for better results. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't always happen. Because apparently I can't pull up my own. It's a demo one. I really, as much as I am getting frustrated at this, especially the people I'm playing, I do really want to learn chess. But I also really want to stream something else. If my Wi-Fi would let me. Um, I know at least this Wednesday, it's going to be a chill one. I'm only going to have two hours. It's just going to be me chatting and talking with people if anyone shows up. So, not a super long one, just a relaxed one. Just for fun. But, uh... I, I, I am getting kind of tired of playing chess every day. Uh, like I said, I really want to stream something else if my Wi-Fi would let me. So, I'm probably going to end up ending stream here. Uh, just because I am, like I said, tired of chess. Um... As, as fun as it is, there's only so much ass-kicking you can take in one day of getting your ass handed to you before you're just like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to take a break from this. I need a break. And I, I'm at that moment where it's like, yeah, I, I need a break. I need a break, man. Here, don't go down. I only want one down. There we go. But yeah, I'm at that point where it's like, break time. Brain hurt. I'm not big-brained. You are confusing me. So, once again, ending stream early. Uh, do actually, if you're watching this on something else, actually come to Twitch. I know you're probably on YouTube if you're watching this. 
or maybe you're watching the video from Twitch before it goes down in seven days, at, do do actually come to my live. I would enjoy talking to uh someone other than myself. Um, as much as I like to try, it does eventually run out of things to just talk to about myself. I'm happy to answer questions. I'm happy to just chat, you know, just have some fun. I'm just here to have some fun. But, um, yeah, there's, all, there's only so much I can talk to about myself before I have to end it because uh, I'm getting tired of chest and, well, yeah, I'm talking to myself. Feels a little crazy talking to yourself for an hour, two hours, mm. just sitting there. <laughs> but, uh, bye-bye now. Um, and I will be live again tomorrow, probably doing chest again. Hopefully see you, at least one of you there.